Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Brittany Watson Tiso with Charleston Animal Society and I'm here to tell you about the Veterinary Science Initiative or VSI. It uses veterinary medicine as a fun way to introduce science to children in the classroom and the best part is we have a seven lesson curriculum ready for teachers and humane educators to use right out of the box. I think the kids learn things that they never thought possible. I think that the way that we bring science to the classroom, it's almost like we're sneaking it in. It's sort of like, yeah, we're talking about animals, but then also it's science. There's an underlying science into every single lesson. Teachers, you know, want to excite children about science, and this is a great way to do it. Students and the teachers at the same time are watching the videos that are explaining the topics, and then the students uh, have the opportunity to do the lessons in the classroom in groups uh, in a multidisciplinary way. We are pressured to have interdisciplinary curriculum that engages students and inspires them to be part of the community. VSI does this to the benefit of animal shelters, teachers, schools, and students. It's constructed in a way that there's a lot of really good higher order thinking going on during the lessons. They, they have to evaluate and construct responses, and, and the lessons are also quite, they have a lot of variety. And it's this variety that will keep your students coming back for more. Seven lessons, all completely planned out for you, and we are always there to add support. My job is to make it as easy as possible for them, and so I'm bringing them everything. All the paperwork, all the materials, everything they need, and I'm helping them to get set up, walking them through it if they need it, answering questions, even teaching the lessons if it's too much trouble for them. I couldn't think of almost any type of a program that would be a better fit for my class. But if you're a teacher in a regular biology classroom or environmental science or anything that has to do with the life sciences, it still has a lot of value. And beyond standards-based science, students learn other real-life lessons. Uh, I think it, it teaches compassion to the kids. That's a biggie for me. Um, empathy. Um, and they learn to care about something other than themselves and the almighty dollar. They ask pretty good questions, considering about heartworms and hurt dogs, what do we do to them? Um, they ask pretty good questions, though. The great thing about the VSI program is its flexibility. You can teach all seven lessons in a row, or spread them out over the course of the semester, or even an entire year. It's entirely up to you. The lesson one for the VSI, we go into the classroom with an animal. It piques their interest. We let them know what the role of the shelter is in the community. Um, we go over body language so they feel safe around an animal. We introduce some degree of, of interest for them by bringing an animal into the classroom. That's something that's different that most students don't get to experience. Lesson two, they investigate a cruelty case. Lesson three is ethics. They decide what happens to an animal when they only have a certain number of adoptions, foster, rescue, and they have to euthanize an animal. Students also discuss other ethical scenarios. I was hard pressed to find anybody that was outright bored or unstimulated by any of the lessons. Uh, there was a lot of variety and the kids liked that. It was a good kind of way to get away from the nitty gritty grind of everyday type curriculum classes. Lesson four, students look at how disease is spread using a point source and they develop a screenplay about a zoonotic disease. Lesson five is their art. So they have to communicate to the public about getting their animal and heartworm preventative. Lesson six takes a look at animal welfare legislation from all points of view. Lesson seven is an exciting field trip. The children spend from nine to one in the shelter learning about all the different animals, um, watching spay-neuter surgery, seeing the recovery, um, controlling disease outbreaks. So there's lots of science, but also they do get animal time to play with the animals on the adoption floor. For the kids that come in, the hands-on gives them more knowledge of what we do and just how technical it is. Um, it's not just you draw the blood, you throw it in a cup, you mix it up, you throw it in this test, snap it, wait 10 minutes and you read the test. It's more you got to pay attention to what you're doing because if you put too many, con too many drops of conjugate, too many drops of blood, you can actually get a wrong result on a test. Our research finds students involved in VSI have proven changes in knowledge, attitudes, and behavior involving science and animals. This is one of the first humane education programs to prove actual behavioral changes. Students take action based on their experiences. 
actions such as spaying and neutering their pets, making enrichment toys for the shelter, and signing up on a volunteer list. Our research also found students wanted to foster and adopt their next pet from the shelter and also participate in training and educational programs. This program gets students excited about learning and they're excited about what we do, they're excited about what they learn and how they can go back to their community and use the knowledge that they've gained through the BSI program. The VSI program produced significant changes in the participants' behavior, attitudes, and knowledge. Our research looked at five schools in the Charleston area, including two Title I districts with over half minority students. We used a control group for both behavioral assessment and the pre and post tests. Students' scores indicated complex interdisciplinary learning of science, including discussing ethical issues, decision making, assessment of welfare, and writing scientific reports. Student attitudes towards taking their animals to the veterinarian for regular care, dog fighting, art and advertising, and spaying and neutering changed significantly during the program. 70.6% of the student participants reported that the VSI program changed their ideas about science. It's probably one of the better programs I've, I've ever seen come through the school. Animals are a bridge for students to discuss difficult ethical issues and connect with another living being. I never knew about fostering until this program told us about it. It was truly a wonderful experience for me, probably the best I've had throughout my high school career. It was educational and also so much fun. I love meeting the dogs and seeing the necropsy take place. It's fun for us to see them come in. You know, you, you see these looks of like, oh, I'm big, bad, I'm tough, and then it's like, oh my God, what did I just see? They're hilarious, you know. It's, they find out that they're human after all. The VSI curriculum corresponds to common core standards so teachers can easily use it to meet their classroom goals. We provide assistance as needed to make sure teachers are comfortable. They really do a good job at, at giving you step-by-step -step instructions how to implement the lesson in your classroom even if you have no prior knowledge of what that lesson is all about. VSI has had documented benefits for students, educators, shelter organizations, and the veterinary field. It allows students to learn science in a service type setting while creating empathetic, lifelong supporters of the shelter and veterinary organizations. Be part of the impactful, history-making program in your community that teaches science and life lessons and inspires students to be active and responsible members of their community. If you're a shelter, humane educator, teacher, or administrator who wants to bring VSI to your community, Visit us at vsiprogram.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions.